<laughs> and so I went down to uh, Dallas and uh, gave these two workshops. And one of the venues, one of the rooms was very nice. It was kind of like this. And the other one was like a cattle yard. It was so big and so wide, and we were going to seat like 75 people or something, which was a well-attended breakout, but in, a, in an area that seated probably 400 people. And there was a little stage that was about 10 feet wide and six, 10 feet long, 6 feet wide, raised at one end of this where I was expected to put my laptop and conduct a full-day workshop. I said to myself, you've got to be kidding. I didn't go anywhere near that stage. I spent my time like I am here and walking up and down the aisles, and finally I figured out, hey, everybody, let's converge here and let's create some form of community because that's really what presenting is all about. This is community. And are people interacting the same way you're interacting with me now? Even though I'm talking, you're conversing with me. We'll talk more about nonverbal communication, but absolutely, you are giving me nonverbal communication. And I don't want to talk without it, because without it, I feel like I'm in limbo, and there's no connection between me and your audience. So one of the things I want to plant in your mind today as we start out is, are you connecting with your listeners? And we'll talk about ways that you can do that to keep them in the loop so there's active engagement, as this gentleman said, going on. So engagement is something that we can put down here as well.